Hi, my name is Alex Coulomb, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Oculus Rift and its potential, not just for the video game industry as it was designed for, but also the architectural industry. I'm going to open up a file now for comparison's sake and show you uh, something that is part of my normal workflow. I'm going to window it so that it will record properly. So typically, uh, an important thing in my workflow as uh, an architectural consultant is that I'm trying to give people a sense of the space. And uh, because I work primarily in theaters, it's very important for people to know what it feels like to sit in a particular seat. Move through the hall a little bit. I've got some different views set up. And uh, this, you know, this is pretty good. What I, what I get out of this is in a diagrammatic way, I can start to give people a sense of what it's like from different seats in a hall looking at a stage. Um, get a little sense of how high the balcony rails are, what it feels like moving through different places in the hall. But this, uh, a render, something printed out on a sheet of paper, there's a certain X factor missing um, that doesn't quite allow you to really feel what it's like to be in the space. You know, it might seem like maybe the stage is too far away. That's that's a common one. Um, because you're looking at something flat, it doesn't really account for your peripheral vision, the true human field of view. So this is pretty good. You know, this is something that I, I, a workflow I've, I'm in the very early stages of developing, uh, taking a model from Revit, uh, maybe from an architect into 3ds Max, uh, maybe SketchUp, some different 3D program, and then eventually to Unity um, to make this kind of interactive experience. Just kind of cycling through a few different views. I have some uh, sound emanating from the stage, which just got really quiet because we went to the back of the hall. We're going to move through it a little bit. Hi, dog. Hi. 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 <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, Sadie. Okay, come on. Hi. I have a dog. Say hi to my dog. She's a rescue from Virginia, and I love her very much. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to cycle through the hall a little bit more. Anyway, you're, you got the sense of this. Uh, you know, gives you some different seat views. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But biggest problem is it's flat. Uh, the camera is locked. I can unlock it, look around with the mouse. Still, you know, there's a, there's kind of a, a video game esque quality to it. Whoop, sorry, <laughs> but it's not perfect. There we are at the front. There's our closest view. Okay, I'm going to close out of this. Now I want to show you what the magic of the Oculus Rift is. Notice it's only a, a 13 megabyte file. Uh, I don't know why I'm showing you this. <laughs> Yeah, same same file size. It doesn't add any bulk to it, but watch what happens when I click on this. I'm going to put the Oculus Rift on. <laughs> okay. Now what you're probably noticing right off the bat is there's a lot more shaking going on. Why is that? Can you guess? Yes, it's because I'm moving my head. Ta-da! What's amazing about the Oculus Rift is it has uh, not motion tracking, but rotational tracking. So if you imagine that there's a little pivot in the center of my head, and if I keep my head still, then moving my head left, right, up, down, sideways, whatever, um, I'm sure there's all sorts of camera terms for this, but uh, it actually tracks it. It moves it in real time. For me right now, it feels like I'm totally immersed in uh, a theatrical building, <laughs> which is really wonderful. What this gives me that the previous model didn't is a certain X factor to what it actually feels like to occupy the space. Um, my field of view is correct. I feel like I have peripheral vision. I can look around. I can get a sense of who is next to me, uh, how far away the stage is, and it just feels real. If you have an o Oculus Rift set, um, you can actually wear it and, you know, look at these two different screens. And uh, what those two screens are actually doing, by the way, for anyone who isn't familiar, is it's actually simulating depth perception. The left eye and the right eye are getting slightly different camera views within the 3D model, and that for me is creating a very realistic space. Um, and what I get right away, you know, for example, is this railing feels so close to my face right now, I just want to punch it. And that's something that maybe doesn't come across quite as well in the, the flat version of this model. 
Um, so again, I can cycle through the model a little bit. Gives me some different views. And especially when you get toward the front of something like a balcony, like you really get a sense of how close that railing is to you. And you know, obviously we follow code requirements, anything like that, but it's really nice to have um, a, a sense of it. It really is an X factor. It's something that, that you just feel. Um, being inside this in this manner is completely different from looking at a 3D model or anything else. Cycle through this a little bit more. Um, now the animations playing on stage, what that ultimately, um, I should have mentioned, I'm very new to the whole world of Unity and interactive development, and um, this is not even a beta test, this is a pre-alpha test, and uh, what I'm trying to develop is, is a workflow that isn't just looking toward a stage in a particular uh, theater design, but uh, performance. So I have some animations on the stage right now as tests. Ultimately, I want to turn them into a full, you know, three or four minute long looping performance complete with dialogue, um, you know, uh, a way of kind of modeling the true acoustics of the hall. Right now, it's it's a pretty linear relationship between distance from the stage and how loud the volume is. Although you do get a nice left ear, right ear, um, you know, sense of, of the sound coming from the stage. That's really cool. Um, what will be really nice is in the next iteration of the Oculus Rift, there's going to be uh, some motion tracking, and that'll be w really wonderful for situations like this, where you know a client really wants to know what it's like to to lean over a railing and and uh, just kind of extend your view a little bit. What's happening at, at all the way over at stage right? You know, hopefully with the next iteration, I can I can experience that. Right now, all it's picking up on is rotation. So I move forward a little bit. Cycling through there, kind of close now. Got my creepy guys down there. I like the white guy just kind of walking around. <laughs> but it's really nice to be able to just look around, really get a sense of the, the depth of a hall. You know, it's very diagrammatic. I don't have materials on here or anything. It's really just to give a sense of space, how close everything is. Now, my only real concern um, that I have not been able to find a solution to is what you see happening here with the guy in front of me right now and that is some clipping and I have no idea why it's happening my clip plane is set to zero but you know kinda creepy to be looking inside the back of the head of the person in front of you uh, have not figured out how to solve that yet anyway let's jump down here real quick music got softer and uh, yeah, we'll cycle through. I think this this becomes most useful when it comes to things like railings and you have something right in front of you or right to the side of you. Um, it also helps, you know, figuring out how good of a stagger we have with uh, um, how the seats are positioned. Are you looking between two people's heads or is a head right in your way? With the Oculus Rift, you really have a sense of um, what those sight lines are like. All right, let's get real close. Hey, Jumpy. Still fun to look back at the hall. Yeah. Yeah, and it just, you know, you really feel how close everything is. Is the aisle wide enough? You know, is a wheelchair going to get through there? Of course I know it will because I dimensioned it in 2D, but <laughs> it's good to be able to uh, just feel it. All right, that's the end of the song. Let's get to the front. Uh, let's not look up her skirt. <laughs> but yeah, you know, if you have an Oculus Rift, take a look. It's really cool how close everything feels or how far. That's the point. You feel that it is far or close. Anyway, that's it for that. Um, <laughs> just wanted to give a little demo of the potential of the Oculus Rift, not just for video games, but architecture. Uh, I'm going to make another video in a second just to show a little bit of what I'm doing in Unity. Um, again, I'm very new to all this. It's I am you know feel like I'm, I'm barely scratching the surface of what's possible, but just wanted to share uh, some of the potential and uh, love to hear your feedback of, of what you'd like to see, what, what kind of things you could imagine doing, and really, architects, designers, anyone out there um, doing stuff in 3D but not in the video game industry. I'd love to see 
more Oculus Rift stuff. I'm, I'm fascinated by it, and I love it all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. Here's a link to the next video. I don't know. That way. <laughs> Bye. Bye.